In this video we are learning to play cycling on the hill. In this lesson we learn a new time signature, the 3x4. We learned before about the 4x4 in which we fit four crotchets or quarter notes in each bar or the equivalent. Today instead we are playing in 3x4, this is three crotchets or quarter notes in a bar or equivalent. This affects the way we count. Instead of saying one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, we say one, two, three, one, two, three. We are also used to often play semi brief or whole notes on the left hand. But the whole note lasts four beats and we cannot fit four beats in a three by four bar. So we need to replace it with a new figure. Actually, a figure we already know, the half note or minimum, but with a dot, the dotted half note. A dot on the right of a figure extends its duration for another half. So a half note with a dot lasts the same plus a half. For example, a half note lasts two beats, with a dot lasts three beats. Let's play the left hand alone. One, two, three. Now let's look at a new feature, the key signature. In our lesson 4 we saw that all the F's were sharp, so we needed to add a sharp to each F. Composers got so tired of drawing a sharp in front of each F when writing in G major that they agreed with the performers to place just a sharp on one of the lines where you write F at the beginning of each staff. And with that, they agreed that all the Fs were sharp. This means that this F, this F, this F, and all the other Fs are sharp, unless that sharp is cancelled. If we have that all the Fs are sharp, and we want one of them to be cancelled, we just add a natural sign to it, like this one. So considering that all the Fs are sharp, let's play the right hand of this piece. One, two, three, one. Now let's play with both hands. One, two, three. 